Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this video is going to be a little different a little weird because I am going to react. We're going to take a look at the new 2024 Mustang release that was just released a couple of days ago. I did not watch the release. I've seen, I think I saw like the first leaked photos and I got a glimpse of the interior, but I haven't really looked at it yet. I've had a lot of people ask me how I feel about it. Um, I shared a post on my Instagram asking what everybody else thought and you know everybody liked it. I am yeah so I'm not gonna tell you how I feel about it quite yet. Yeah so I've had a couple of people ask me what I feel about it, what I think, if I want to get it and then it really just like I think it got to be too many people were, were like you need to make a video talking about it so I was like well I mean I'm not gonna be able to like give you guys too much information since I don't really know all the deep details but I guess you know I started thinking I was like I do have a 2021 Mustang we also have a 2020 Mustang GT as well as a 20 or well we kind of still we had a 2016 no what was it what year is that Mustang hold on let me make sure here Good thing I make a YouTube video so I can, oh, it's a 2015. Okay, so a 2015 Mustang GT. So, you know, I have, I know my Mustangs pretty well, so I guess I might as well do a reaction video to photos of the new Dark Horse Mustang. So I did some light reading and I just know like a couple of small details. I know that there is a lot of controversy around being able to build it, which is like strange that I know this because I haven't even really built my mock yet. I mean, I have headers, a cat back exhaust and you know, just like body part changes. So basically if I were to buy one, I would be good because I wouldn't be heavily modding it. But I guess it's like similar to what's going on with BMW and the Supra and not being able to like unlock the car which I don't think is really gonna affect the sales part of it because I mean, it's still the V8 Coyote engine, it's kind of shocking. It's a little bit faster than Mach because I guess it's supposed to put out about 500 horsepower, which that's not what I'm getting. And then I also heard that Whipple is now under Ford, so maybe you'll still be able to supercharge it. But I mean, as far as like adding power goes, it's still, you know, manageable. So I guess it's not that big of a deal to me, but I'm not the like, crazy one. I'm still just like hyped that they came out with a new Ford and I am so excited to be looking at it today. I also heard that it's like super race focused, which I mean, they said that the Mach 1 was also going to be like Ford's most track focused Mustang. Um, but I heard this one has a roll cage, a freaking roll cage. Like, ugh. so yeah, I'm excited to be looking at it. I don't think I've heard any other rumors. Um, yeah, hopefully I'll remember more things as we go, but right now I just wanted to focus on getting this out there. So let's go, let's start. I'm just gonna bring this on over here. How are we looking and good, all right. I hope you guys can see everything. I can see you, you can see me. We see the, the dark horse. Um, you know, it's giving heavy Nickelback vibes. I'm pretty sure that was like Nickelback's album, the Dark Horse. Everybody hates Nickelback. We're not gonna start that though. Okay, Ooh, this Mustang is so, oh my gosh, this color. Okay, my thing is the color. This is probably the most beautiful blue that I have ever seen. <clears throat> and I don't know what it's called either. I've seen that it's like a metallic ember color. I've seen that it's like a vapor indigo. I'm not sure what the color is, but I'm, I'm here for it. I love it. It's gorgeous. I bet it looks so much more amazing in person. The front end. So when I initially saw it, I kind of thought Honda Accord just with the like headlights. But now that I'm like looking at it again, like those are for sure Mustang headlights. And I mean like Mustang always has like really cool headlights, like way better than like the competitors like Dodge or the Camaro. Mustang headlights are and these ones, well done Ford on, you know, keeping it modern and aggressive, especially with the way like cars are kind of like looking a little bit more futuristic. So yeah, I like the front end. Um, I'm a little shocked with the wheels. I think we'll have a close up with the wheels. So we'll just, we'll just keep going for now. All right. <laughs> that is a back end and that is a wing. That is a big wing. 
I do love me a big wing too. I like that it's not like, I like that it is like a big wing, but it's also not underwhelming and nobody likes an underwhelming wing. I know I don't. I like the curvature. It's kind of, I don't know. I think only like this fender kind of gives like, maybe like the middle parts give Camaro vibes, but maybe not. I don't know, let's just keep going. <laughs> Okay, now I'm upset. The hood. Is that like gloss black? I think that's like a gloss satin black. Whereas on mock, it's like a matte. It's kind of like the opposite of this one here. So like on my mock, the, the, the stickers. <laughs> the stickers here are matte and then surrounded by like gloss there. So I like that it's more glossy and less matte because I don't know if I even really like the like matte finish on the stickers. And the stickers on Mock are really expensive. I would know because I wrecked it. Oh well, I mean I didn't. <laughs> okay, so love the hood. I like the sharp edges here for sure. It makes it so aggressive. I kind of like the satin gloss black accent here. Cause I feel like on some other colors of the Mustang, it'll look really good. Like on a yellow or on an orange. Are they coming out in green? Like that new grabber green? Is that even what it's called? I don't know. It's like the new 2022 Mach 1 green. But I wanna see what this one will look like in white. I bet that would look really good. Yeah, that's a good front end. This emblem. This emblem, I think, like I, I had seen the emblem of the dark horse, you know. I don't like it. I don't like the emblem. I don't know what I would have done different, but I don't think I would have done it the same. It's just kind of not intimidating. I mean, I'm happy that they did come out with like a different logo for it. Like they didn't just throw a 5-0 badge on there. They didn't, I mean, obviously they wouldn't do the mock one, but I'm happy that they did come out with a new logo to, you know, like make this new Mustang as special as it actually is because it is, it's cool. <clears throat> All right, moving on from that. The spicy, this is a spicy freaking picture. This is kind of like a background photo, but. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's cool. I. It's unique, you know, I don't think I've seen something like this on any other car. Is the Camaro like that? I hope the Camaro isn't like that. I can't think about it, but, or I can't even like remember what the Camaro's back end look like, but I'm afraid that it might look like that. <laughs> okay, this is like my favorite camera angle. So I don't know how I feel about these things. I don't know what they're called. Um, my mock has them and they're like circular. I don't know, I just don't see like the, functionality of it, but maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. Okay, so I think this is the photo that I saw originally, and I guess like what really threw me off was probably the vents, because I know that all the new electric cars, like everything is being updated to be more minimal, simple, futuristic, and I feel like vents just kind of date it. The vents in Mach are like, the curved ones, which you can close and shut. And I think they look a little bit more like clean and updated than these vents. But I mean, it's just vents. So I don't know why it was such a big deal to me, <laughs> but holy mother of dash, that thing is a big one. And I'm pretty sure it's all like one large screen. I also heard that um, like you can customize the driving experience of the dark horse like much more. Um, I mean, so they, it has the Magna Ride active suspension, which Mach does as well. And you can adjust the suspension of Mach, but I guess in here it's much more like user friendly and interactive. Um, kind of like the Hellcat, the Hellcat, you can really go in and like adjust the, I don't even know what I'm trying to say the stance of the car. So I think it'll be really cool to see like Ford's technology on making your car customized when you're out driving, which is kind of cool. Freaking ads. <laughs> um, okay. Maybe the shift knob. So, hmm. 
So I don't know anything about in here. I don't know anything about the technology or anything. So I'm not really gonna speak to any of that just based on like what I've heard. So the shift knob in mock is white, which is probably one of my favorite things. Um, I do know that this does have the Tremec six speed manual transmission, same as mock taken from the GT350. So it's really cool that they're keeping that because it's like my favorite thing. Um, and then it also has the 10 speed automatic transmission. We're definitely looking at the manual transmission here. And I was really hoping for a different color shift knob. I don't know why. I mean, I'm happy it's not white, but it could have been like, what if it was like blue or grabber blue, just something like different. But I did also hear that the seats are blue too, or in some of them, I don't know. It doesn't really look blue in this picture. It kind of looks more of like a gray. But, it, you know, I mean, this photo, it seems like so heavily edited. I can't really tell what it actually looks like. I think I heard something is different about the steering wheel, but I don't really see it here. If anything, it looks more like round compared to Mox or larger. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's keep moving. <laughs> That is your rear end. So it does look like the t the wheel and tire setup is larger in the back. So it's probably like 19 inch, although imagine this thing with 20s on, 20s and lowered. Ooh, gosh, that would be cool. But okay, so let me, let me actually look here. I'm gonna look at some specs just so I can actually talk a little bit more to whatever the heck we're looking at here. I gotta get some Nickelback going on here. <laughs> um, okay, so yes, so we have some Magnaride. So every dark horse is gonna have Magnaride. So 19 inch wheels. So it looks like the standard one comes with the Pirelli P0 P74 summer tires. I really like my all seasons, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we have nine, okay, so 19 inch wheels, nine and a half in the front and then 10 in the back I'm here for that. But if you get the upgraded handling package, then you can get the Pirelli P0 Trofeo RS tires, <clears throat> 10 and a half in the front and 11 in the back. Still want 20s though. <laughs> So I guess with the upgraded handling package, you also get stiffer springs, thicker front and rear, weird, rear sway bars and a rear wing with a gurney flap for more downforce. Okay, so handling package would be nice. Although, okay, another thing I heard, <laughs> keeps coming. Another thing I heard is that they're going to be making a dark horse R. What the heck is that? That sounds so cool, which is like perfect because in 2023, the Raptor R is coming out. So it's gonna be so cool that they're gonna have a dark horse R. <clears throat> a dark horse R. So I'm wondering if that's gonna be kind of like the GT500 take on it. So that's gonna be really cool to see. I mean, if I could put in an order for that right now, I'd be like, Ford, take my money. But, oh yeah, that's, I think that's kind of what I'm really want to hold out to see, like something that I'm going to be like on the edge of my seat waiting to be revealed. Um, which if you guys kind of like this type of video, I would be so happy to do that. And I would probably be more on top of it than like super reactive like I'm doing right now, which big shout out to Gadget 4.0 because you are the one that really got me on here doing this video so thank you <laughs> all right so um yeah back to the dark horse okay so i think this might have been i don't know i don't know what photos i've seen it's all like a blur now but this one gave me let me move that link this one gave me super heavy honda accord vibes which i did not appreciate initially um and now that I'm looking at it, it's kind of like, okay, that's nothing at all like Honda. That's all Ford right there. Let me show, let me pull one up just to show you real quick. Two new Honda Accord images. All right, let me bring this over here for you. Can you see me? All right, well, like this. You see that and that? 
yeah, I don't see it anymore. I'm over it. It's that's that's all Mustang. <laughs> yeah, so it's these things that I just don't really understand. Like, is there a functional pur purpose? I don't know because that mine are circles, but now we got triangles. It does look like um, it does look like the Mustang logo is still gunmetal. I like the front lip here. It's kind of like the same as mock where it kind of like curves with the car. Um, I know on the mat on the mocks track package they give you like an extra lower one just for like more downforce. I don't have it. I can't imagine if I did because if I did I probably would have lost it. <laughs> but, but I'm wondering if the Dark Horse R will have like that lower thing there. <sighs> wow, what a freaking cool car. I love that hood. Oh. That wing too. Yeah, I'm glad that they switched up the wing. I'm really happy about that. It's kind of like a cross between the um, the one I have on my mock. It's a GT500 wing, but then also like the GT PP1 package wing too. Just the one where it's like kind of lifted up a little bit, but then it's like put together. You know, it's like its own. Its own identity and I'm here for it. Okay. So windows look really small and those blue Brembo brakes, six piston Brembo brakes, and they're blue. That's um yeah, I'm here for the blue. Red is so overrated. Imagine it lowered though, like just closing that wheel gap there. Hey, would you like to say hello? Say hello. <laughs> We're looking at cars. <clears throat> Close up of the wheel and tire setup here. Yeah, I'm really into the blue Brembo brakes. That's um, that's a nice. <laughs> Close up of the front end. Yeah, that's a really mean looking grill. Okay, yeah, this emblem. I just I can't. I can't, but this pink color, I can. I definitely can with the pink color. I am here for it. And that's it, okay. Yeah, well, I love it. That's like it for me. That's what a cool freaking car. Yeah, I am super impressed. I mean, and I wasn't even really like tracking it too hard when it was like first announced and released, but yeah, wow, what a cool freaking Mustang. Well, I am super hyped for the new 2024 Ford Mustang. And I'm super happy that they're actually keeping the Coyote engine in there. Kind of shocked. I mean, I'm kind of surprised that they didn't go with the Voodoo engine since it is a 5.2 liter, but uh, yeah, um, I don't know. Yeah, I freaking love it. It's probably the best looking Mustang, like, it exceeds any expectation that I could have. And I'm so happy that they are keeping a V8 muscle car coming into 2024, even though everything else is going electric. Slightly concerning because it's probably gonna be the slowest new car out there because everything electric just like kills it. I mean, I took mock out today and I got humiliated by a Rivian, you know, completely. Anyways. <laughs> So I'm happy that they're keeping, you know, the V8 engine not going electric yet because I really thought that I got the last like, well, not the last, but I mean, there's a 2022, but I mean, I got one of the last real Mustangs, I guess is what I'm trying to say, because even when I started this channel, which was like six or eight months ago, I really thought that, you know, Ford was going to go with electric. So that might be my next move. But oh my gosh, I am obsessed with this. All right guys, so that was really like my reaction and scrolling through the new photos of the Dark Horse Mustang. I'm sorry I wasn't more on top of it, um, but I wanted to get this out there and just kind of like show you guys too, because I know a lot of you might not be like watching the Mustang videos right away, but I do think that it is worth seeing for sure. So thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Please like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.